So y'all remember that uh, uh, that Oakville, Ontario teacher with the big ass titties, right? You all remember her? Well, apparently they caught up to him, right? So let's see. So y'all check this out, man. Where are your breasts? Why are you dressing inappropriately? Man, these these reporters really have no shame. I could not see myself with a microphone running up on motherfuckers in a public place talking about where are your breasts? Where are your breasts? I couldn't do it. But I guess it takes a different breed of person. But some people think I'm shameless because I'm on here screaming, where are your breasts? My neighbor's probably wilding, but let's let go. Where are your breasts? Why are you dressing inappropriately in front of children? Can you believe it, folks? Like a cornered rat, he ran for the hills. He didn't even have the guts to come back to his car. He's abandoned it here. He called an Uber and he's uh, skedaddled, well, who knows where. Uber. I wanted to get to the bottom of those boobs, if they were real or fake. We have the answer now, don't we, folks? They are fake. There's Motherfucker, you knew that it was fake. Come on now. You could not attach silicone that massive on a motherfucker and make t- like fake titties. I, even if they was fake, how are you going to use that much, stretch out that much skin to make? Like, you know that shit was fake. Fake is a $3 bill. Mr. Lemieux, where are your breasts? In the history of journalism, has there ever been a better question from a reporter? Probably not, David Menzies. So y'all y'all remember this motherfucker. What was the uh, uh, teacher, silicone, God, Lee, my spelling rough today. Let, hold up. Silicone breasts. Y'all remember this motherfucker right here? Y'all remember the shop teacher? This motherfucker? Y'all remember that? Huh? Yeah, I remember that. So, um, here is my theory on that. And this might be a little controversial for y'all because y'all don't, y'all don't like to hear shit. That might be a little logical. But, um, I suspect the motherfucker's trolling. I mean, I read somewhere on Reddit, they said some dude said y'all I'm a student in his class and he actually trolling. He's super conservative and he got conservative values, but you never know because, um, Reddit, now that I think about it, Reddit is a very, very liberal place, right? Like very liberal. It's disgusting. You know what I'm saying? You can't go on a, a popular thread over there just to see some wholesome. There's a thread called made me smile, made me smile. You can't even look at wholesome shit without some LGBT interjected into it. Right. You'll see, you'll be watching and say, oh, that's cool. Uh, amputated leg daddy. He, he raising his children. Now, all of a sudden you see, boom, I'm a tranny and I just got a job and I'm not homeless no more. And people just, yeah, congrats, bro. And if you say anything out of order, they're going to downvote you, right? So yeah, Reddit is a very liberal place. So maybe you should take that with a grain of salt, right? That uh, it was a student saying he's actually conservative. Because now that I think about it, they probably just wanted to dismiss him as a conservative because this shit is embarrassing. Like, let's be real. That shit is embarrassing. So no wonder they want to dismiss it as a conservative trolling, right? But this is what comes. This is what they created. They made this. But I'm still going to kind of teeter on the edge of maybe he's a troll. I think he might be a troll and he's just trying to prove how crazy y'all look. You know what I'm saying? Because it's either he's trolling or this world is really a... a, a uh, you know what I'm saying? A video game. Something's going on. Cause we can't, how, how do we straight face this? Huh? How do y'all walk every day straight? How? Again, it's either mental illness, but we living in a simulation or this motherfucker is trolling. And I choose to believe the latter because I, I refuse to live in this. Now I can't say I refuse to live in this world. Cause I'm, I'm living now and I ain't, I ain't going nowhere, but man, this is what we living in now. This is life. Y'all 80s babies, you guys remember living, growing up in the 90s? You call this motherfucker gay. Look at this gay motherfucker. Your daddy gay. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, you can't even say that no more. These little kids, they don't, they don't even talk like that no more. I don't think. I don't hang with little kids, but I feel like, I feel like they'll put you in check for talking like that. You know what I'm saying? My bad ass, I would have, I would have been suspended from school. I have been suspended from school many times, but I, what has this world become? What has this world become? You know what I'm saying? With a Canadian uh, conservative uh, 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 reporters, hey, he's a, he's a, are those real boobs or fake boobs? And this is national television. This is national TV. This is international because that's Fox News. They reporting on Canadian shit. That's crazy. This is what the world's become. And I'm and I'm laughing and I'm cracking jokes, but just. It's actually kind of fucking tragic. I don't have kids yet. You know what I mean? God forbid I have a, you know, God want to play a, a rough trick on me and give me a daughter and I'm going to be stuck up in this situation, in this simulation. That's fucked up. So, hey, cancel me if you like. I, I know you two probably not going to monetize me for this, but hey, man, like this is the world that we're living in. You know what I'm saying? So this is, this is charity work right here. I'm doing charity for y'all. I'm just speaking on these on these crazy alphabet people running the streets, running rampant in the streets. These are the new gangbangers. You hear me? These are the new gangbangers, and they banging on you. Pause. They banging on the system. Pause. This is what Dead Prez fought for. Pause. They was fighting for their socialist and, and, and radical whatever, right? This is what, see, you see them crazy weirdo liberals? You got to watch out for these crazy weirdo liberals. And I know it always backtracks to, to that because that that's always behind it. Are y'all not checking the pattern? These weirdos are always behind it. These same white weirdos that'll tell you, oh, uh, look at you. You're such a strong black man and you're such a this and you're such a that. What's his sexual fantasies? Why is he so focused on diminishing his own people and bigging you up? I res- I'd respect a conservative that's that's more abrasive, more opinionated, and, and, and more tribal than a motherfucker like that. Because at least he can stand up for his own shit. You respect your people for standing up for their own people, don't you? So you can, you can at least have that respect. But a motherfucker that's got no backbone and, and demonizes his own race, his own race, that means his own children, he demonizes. To big you up and make you feel better about yourself. What does that say about him? He's got no backbone. He's spineless. And my belief, my true belief, is that 90% of those motherfuckers, it's a sexual gratification thing for them. You know what I'm saying? That's why that's why the biggest, the biggest people like that are in democratic cities, are in gay cities, are in San Francisco. But them same San Francisco gay motherfuckers won't rent me out of Airbnb. How about that? How ironic is that? The motherfucker, I, I was in Oklahoma and that country motherfuckers with cowboy hats is renting me out Airbnbs. I go to motherfucking San Francisco and it's, 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 you see the profile picture, two gay lover dudes. I seen it. I seen his, his, his reviews, all white people. I, 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 and I'm highly reviewed on Airbnb. I get nothing but love on there. Cause I'm good. I'm a good tenant or whatever you'd call it. Right. A beer, Airbnb, a beer. But I, I go to these two gay dudes Hey, can you, rent, uh, I'm, I'm trying to rent out, and I'm polite too, I don't just try to book it, I, 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 I inbox them first. Oh, sorry, it just so happens, I don't know why, our, our, <laughs> do you know, the amount of times I've heard motherfuckers on Airbnb say, I don't know why these dates are even up, I, these, are, these aren't even available dates, I don't know why the, the app has these dates up, the amount of times I've heard that from white liberals, it would blow your fucking mind. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like a, a little black kid going to a Chinese convenience store and, and not getting looked on, looked at. You know what I'm saying? It, it's, it's that kind of vibe. But I digress. Like, subscribe, comment down below. This was a, this was a non-video. This is more of a rant, but I had to do it. So peace, y'all. Goodbye.